Hey, what's going on all you Pokemon Go lovers? This is JoltyJohn13, and today I thought I would talk a little bit about Community Day. By now all you guys have already experienced Mudkip Day, and you've gotten all your high IVs and all your shinies, but it's never too early to start preparing for the future. In the last year and a half, Niantic has established a very clear pattern. Every other month is a new starter Pokemon. This month we had Mudkip, which means in September we're going to get Turtwig, November Chimchar, and January of 2020 Piplup. Now all that sounds so far into the future that you don't even think about preparing for it now. But let me show you what I've done to prepare for this month's Mudkip Day. Right over here you should see a screen recording of me on July 19th, the day I'm filming this video, two days before Mudkip Day. And you'll also see the number of Mudkip candies I have going into the event. Yes, I have almost 500 Mudkip candy before the event even starts. Now for some of you, that might not be that impressive. But let me add some context. I have this number after evolving four Mudkips all the way up to Swampert already, and I live in Tarzana, which is not a biome for Mudkips. And I don't really go to the beach very much because it's almost an hour away. So I don't live in a water biome, meaning I don't see a lot of Mudkips, and I've already evolved four Mudkips all the way up to Swampert, and I still have almost 500. How did I do it? Well, let's talk about it. I got three tips to prepare you guys for the Gen 4 Starter Community Days. The first and most important tip I can give you when it comes to prepping for Gen 4 Starter Community Days is to get into the habit of pineapping every single starter Pokemon you find. When Gen 4 came out, I knew right away I needed to pineapp the Turtwigs, the Chimchars, and the Piplups because eventually they were going to get their own Community Days. One of the things that stresses out a lot of players when it comes to prepping for Community Days is making sure that their bag has plenty of pineapp berries to maximize their candy on the day. But if you get into the habit of pineapping all the starter Pokemon when they come out, by the time Community Day rolls around, you'll already have 500, 600, 800 candies of that starter Pokemon. I'm going to show you a screen grab of my current count of Turtwig candy. I have almost 850. And now I'm going to show you a screen grab of my current candy count for Piplup. I have almost 350. Because my immediate area doesn't get a lot of water spawns, my Piplup candy is lower. But that's still pretty good. So now when Turtwig Day comes around in September, I don't even have to give a second thought to how many pineapple berries I have in my bag because I've been pineapping all the time leading up to the day and I already have tons of candy. So if you get into the habit of pineapping starters when they first come out, you'll never have to think about pineapping starters again on Community Day. Now some of you might be like, that's easy for you to say, John. You live in Los Angeles with tons of spawns. Or maybe you happen to be in a biome where you don't get lots of sunny weather for Turtwigs and Chimchars. Or you're like me and you don't get a lot of Piplups. What am I supposed to do then? Well that leads me into tip number two. Take advantage of events. This summer we've already had two GoFest events, and with those GoFest events have been new shiny releases. I'm sure a lot of you, like myself, have been hunting those shinies, but you might have noticed some other Pokemon spawning with those as well. That's right, the Gen 4 Pokemon have been spawning alongside these other shiny possibilities. Some of you might be overlooking those Turtwigs and Chimchars because they can't be shiny. But really, they can't be shiny yet. Those are your opportunities to pine up those bad boys and start building up that candy for when their community day actually comes. For me, for these GoFest events, I've been seeing a lot of Piplup. And since I don't have a lot of Piplup candy, I've been using that opportunity to pine up my Piplups. Pine up Piplups. <laughs> pine up Piplups. There's a tongue twister for you. I'm not even going to try to say that five times fast. Because I'm into the habit of pineapping all the starter Pokemon I find, especially rare ones like Piplup, that's why I already have 350 Piplup candy for when Piplup Day comes around. So yeah, definitely take advantage of these events. The rates for starter Pokemon spawns is definitely increased, so take advantage while you can. One of the things a lot of people like to do on Community Days is stack up a lot of high CP Pokemon and then trade them at the end of the event to try to reroll IVs and get luckies. Well, did you know that you can already do that for the starter Pokemon before that day? So that leads me to tip number three. Store your high CP starter Pokemon before the community today and trade them to get high IVs. There's nothing worse on community today than to get an hour into the event and get that notification saying your box is full. And that's because you're hanging on to 10, 15, 20 high CP Piplups. But if you collect these guys before community today, during these summer events, you can stack up five, ten of those Piplups in August and try to re-roll them with a friend to get that high IV or lucky. And then that job's already done. So yeah, those are my three tips on preparing for Gen 4 Community Days. Get in the habit of pineapping starter Pokemon right away so you're not having to worry about pineapping them on Community Day. 
Take advantage of the events when more starter Pokemon spawn so that you can utilize the technique of pineapping them. And don't feel like you have to wait until the community day to try to swap with friends and reroll IVs and get luckies. Get a head start on that early so you don't feel the pressure to keep so many high CP ones on the day. So yeah, if you found this list helpful, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. I got a wealth of Poke knowledge up here, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one.